Welcome back to the channel and we are back with our latest AMZ Doge or Geo Doge update. So again, remember the normal disclaimer on the channel that nothing here is financial advice. Please always do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. So first off, thank you for the support on the channel. We are so, so close to 3000 subscribers. I think we might actually hit it tomorrow. So I want to say thank you all for showing the support on the channel. Let's hope we can try and have some good news for AMC Doge. So if we take a look at the media, of course, no new posts. It's a full radio silence. To be honest, I'm surprised they haven't taken the website down at this point. Again, they stopped withdrawals, I want to say eight days ago now, and posted this post here, which seemed quite promising. Well, obviously there was a lot of FUD and people weren't happy once withdrawals got closed, but this post kind of gave people some hope because there was this thing. From February 17th, you can withdraw 3% of your principal per day. And of course, if I go over to withdrawals in history, we can see, of course, a waiting review. And it's it will be seven days come tomorrow and does not look like it, anything is working. Saying that, I might actually try another withdrawal. We'll go $70 again and maybe we'll, we'll queue them up. I know that it probably won't go through at all, but... We'll queue up another one, and with the rest of the funds, I guess we may as well do a quant plan, but it really doesn't matter at this point. I can get a high number on a screen, but if I can't withdraw it, it doesn't really make any difference. But I guess maybe this one will get rejected, or we'll see something different, I don't know. But yeah, by the looks of it, not too much is really happening inside the app. Now let's go on to the wallet tracking, because you guys seem to like this stuff. So... There was, of course, this was the main Ethereum wallet that most of the funds were in. There was about $1.4 million in this single wallet, which, of course, AMZ Doge had hundreds of wallets and they all kind of got transferred into one singular wallet. Then, well, I think this was the wallet, sorry. Yeah, this was the wallet of all of the funds, about $1.4 million. So we saw those two transactions out from the wallet three days ago, 731000 each, which... One wallet, we can see, is still holding the $864,000. They have not done anything with it. As we can see, three days, 17 hours, nothing has happened with this one user. They, I guess, sat on it. And if we saw the video yesterday, we could see the other user had, well, of course, took the funds in and then actually sent it to a brand new wallet. So if we go to this next wallet here, also they got funds from fake phishing. But this actually looks like the wallet has sent a real funds. Yeah, fake phishing. So on um, EtherScan, wallets that, um, of course, where they impersonate each other, so they get tagged as fake phishing. But a lot of those fake phishing transactions aren't real, but these seem to have actually gone through on the blockchain. But um, if we follow the funds, the $863,000 to the next wallet, we could see he did a $5 test transaction transferred the full whack and then gave himself free BUSD pretty much, which again, that's the thing I'm confused about. Not sure what that was, but since then we haven't had any more follow-ups. There's no comments on the wallet yet. I'm sure people probably will comment on this if stuff gets changed. But um, yes, yeah, sat on $864,000 here. And of course we had the previous holder in the separate wallet with 800,000. So between them, that is, what, $1.72 million on the Ethereum network. And I know people have been commenting saying there was a million AMZ Doge users. I don't know how factual that was, but 100% there is more than this 1.7 million funds. Again, this is just what I have found on the Ethereum network. There was the whole Tron side of stuff, which I had a few people comments on wallets, but I couldn't really track them. And a lot of people have been pointing me in the direction of this one Tron wallet because they're saying multiple wallets or transactions from other projects have all led back to this wallet. And I'm not sure if you guys know, but this is a very large number. It is, um, this is $1.3 billion. And I'm not sure if you missed this part, but here we can see Binance Hot. It is a Binance Hot wallet just one of the Binance wallets for the Tron network. 
So people were pinning saying this is the owner of all of these projects, which unfortunately it is not. It is one of the Binance wallets. However, if the funds have been sent to a Binance wallet, that means it's been sent to a KYC account. So whoever, well, those transactions can be tracked to a person being sent to one specific account, which means they're going to struggle to cash out the funds for a Binance account if, of course, their addresses get reported. So that does give us some positives. But again, this is not the founders of AMZ Doge. They don't have $1.3 billion. If they did, they would have ran away with it. But um, yeah, this is the Binance hot wallet. Just giving you the heads up on that one. But um, if you do have just the wallets that you may be deposited to or received withdrawals from, just you can drop them in the comment section down below. I want to say there might be auto filtering that removes the wallet, well, removes your comments, but I can manually go through and approve them. So sorry if your comment does get removed. It's just an automatic YouTube thing to, of course, remove spam, etc. But you should be able to paste the wallets or I can, the comments will be like pending and then I can go ahead and approve them there. But by the looks of things, we're getting no updates with AMC Doge. It's nearly been a week since they promised withdrawals. I feel like after tomorrow, once we, well, if we get no info again, it looks like the run, well, it looks like it's kind of dead. I feel like a lot of people have already accepted it as a rug, which I pretty much have as well. Some people are still holding a little bit of hope, but by the looks of things, it's not looking good. Also, I had a few people email me. Um, I'm not going to tell you who they were, but they said they had more details around this whole AMT Doge situation and the founders and stuff. So if you guys do know any other details, you want to let me know, you can either drop it in the comments, you can send me an email. I think my email is in the description down below. So if there's news you want me to cover on the channel, I can get that done for you guys regarding this whole AMT Doge fiasco. Because there's a lot of people following this now. And this is something I wanted to touch on, the whole Magic Johnson and NASDAQ thing. People, of course, are not happy with them for promoting AMZ Doge. They never really had a part of AMZ Doge. I will probably cover this in more detail in tomorrow's video. But they're not part of this project. Well, NASDAQ was not at all. They just put their name on it. And the advert you can just pay for. And the Magic Johnson, again, it's a it's called like cameo where you can pretty much pay celebrities to make you a personalized message and it was just something like that was what they did but yeah i will keep you guys up to date as soon as we get more details we're following it but it's not looking too good and i feel like at some point we kind of well we might just have to give up on this whole situation which i know is sad but that's crypto and yeah that's the rug season but um, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, subscribe to keep up to date with everything AMZ Doge. We're so close to 3,000, so it'd mean the world if we could hit that mark. And yeah, have a nice rest of your evening, and I'll see you all in the next video.